A white Christmas only adds to the merriment of the holy day. It's not anything I look at very often. But 91 years ago, in Stokes County, the day was marked by murder. Charlie Lawson, uh, on Christmas Day in 1929, murdered six of his kids and his wife. The story goes the Germantown farmer sent his eldest son away to buy more shotgun shells, then proceeded to take the lives of every single other member of the household. Some of, the, of them were shot, some of them were bludgeoned in the head by the butt of the gun. Charlie went into the woods, paced around. And there were footprints in the snow around a tree. And took his own life. He scribbled some notes that didn't make any sense on a piece of paper. Um, and then some people heard the gunshot of him actually shooting himself. A daughter's friend found the bodies, the bloody scene sticking with her until her final days. And it still made her cry and shook her and to even tell those stories and how horrific it was. 5,000 people went to the funeral with the bodies being embalmed in the building of the present day Madison Dry Goods. A couple of years ago, my, my mom and my son and myself and some friends went at night. Which is where we find Sonia Cox, who says interest in the story hasn't waned since the day thousands of people watched as the bodies were taken to Browder Family Cemetery just a short trip from the Lawson home. Uh, this is the only time I've ever been at night. She says legend has it, if you put baby powder around your car, go out there and children's handprints will appear. It was spooky, it was, and it just, there was a sense of evil out there at night. I just wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> and that's what they did. Had my Nikon uh, professional DSLR camera with me Tried to take some pictures of the graveyard with it. It completely would malfunction, would not work. So they took out their phones. And it wasn't until I got home and really started looking through those images that I saw some um, things that were kind of disturbing. Some looked like static on a TV. Some were just white, others black. What looked like orbs, a print of some sort, and this. There was one particular one that looked to be an image leaned up against the tree looking right back at us that some have saw and thought looked very demonic. The thing is, um, appears to have horns on its head and um, it just has a demonic look to it, like a demonic type spirit, um, like a ram's head. It bothers her so much. My daughter won't even keep that picture on her phone. That she never printed it off until she decided to speak with us, but she took credit for it online, other people started commenting with their own stories, including a man who went out to get some video a few weeks back, went home to edit it late at night. And kept hearing a knocking sound behind him where he couldn't explain where it was coming from and was worried that something had followed him home from there. And when he saw my pictures, it kind of reaffirmed what he thought might have happened and it really freaked him out and scared him. She's gone to the cemetery since during the day. We had a very eerie, uneasy feeling the whole time we were out there. But this image, this being, ensuring she won't be going back after dark. Now, I've shown it to lots of people who have more knowledge and Michael Hennessy. experience in that area and that realm than me, and they're all Fox 8 News saying it's the real deal.